the Harlem. <laughs> But I don't know how sensitive. No offense, sake. Blackheart trying to take a little bit on the chest of the handsome stranger. Oh, pretty kick by the stranger who once again is feeling the effects of the shots to the midsection. Tries one of his own. a match between two great friends who spend an awful lot of time in the gym as obvious as as just personified by those bodies in there the patriot and chris walker now because of the nature of this match the winner to take on nature boy buddy landell landell has been allowed to remain at ringside to observe the match and i guess get a little bit more advantage not only does he get the rest, he gets to scout his opponent. Well, these are the three finalists, and the rules of the tournament stated, the contract signed by all the tournament entrants stated, that the man who drew the bye would remain at ringside. That's in order for us to go straight to that final match. Now, here's Landell. What in the world can Buddy Landell be doing up on the ring apron? He has no interest in who wins this match. He's probably going to face the toughest challenge of his life, no matter who wins it. Landell just really wants to uh, get himself on television, drag or something, because he has nothing to add to this match. These are two perfectly matched individuals, the Patriot and Chris Walker. You know, Dick Vitale talks about all the PT, mm. all the playing time. According to Nature Boy Buddy Landell, the most important thing to him is AT, airtime. The airtime, the airtime, baby! It's hey, awesome! Hey, wait, wait a minute. No, 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 no. Please. No Dickie D impersonation. This is an important match. Let's get to the action. As Landell looks on, nice hip toss by the Patriot. The crowd really not knowing how to take this match. Two of their fan favorites, who do they root for? The man from Atlanta, Georgia, or the man from Atlanta, Georgia, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and all the suburbs around. Everywhere from sea to shining sea, the Patriot. Chris Walker, the Patriot. I couldn't have picked a better semifinal playoff match if I had, in some way, shape, form, or fashion, could have put this thing together from the very beginning. This is a great match. I really hate that one of these two men is going to be out of the tournament because we can't really say that this is the finals, even though these are two finalists. This is the playoff match between two of the three finalists. And that coin flip... I don't know. You were in the ring, Craig. It looked legit from where I stood, but... Uh, it was, unless Landell did something behind all of our backs. I don't think he, we could have missed anything Buddy Landell did. We had four or five cameras trained on him. We had this arena full of people watching him. I was watching him. I just find it hard to believe that somebody like Buddy Landell normally seems to go his way. Well, Buddy, <laughs> get a little bit too close to the action there. Maybe hurt his hand. And now Buddy Landell threatening to come into the ring to take on Chris Walker. You know, competent officiating is a welcome relief here in the GWF. We've had other wrestling associations with eh, kind of yeah, yeah, refereeing going on. Right there, Sean O'Brien stopped Buddy Landell right in his tracks before Buddy got into the ring. I don't know that I wouldn't have liked to see Buddy get in there because he really would have got his ticket punched by the Patriot and Chris Walker. The Patriot with a hammerlock on the powerful left arm of Chris Walker, who reverses it with a nice duck under. Have you ever seen two more beautifully built bodies in the same ring in your entire life? Absolutely not. Not ever have I seen two men more finely honed in the uh, body sculpting than these two. Arguments can be made that there are better bodies across these United States in various locations, but never in the wrestling ring have I seen two who matched up each other, who matched together, rather, just like Walker and Patriot. Truly both an incredible men, sight. Both men with various and sundry tests of strength. And 
and some fans really don't enjoy scientific matches. As an announcer, I've got to say that I do because very rarely do you get to see two men, even Steven, just going at it with all the power moves. Nice fireman carry right there. And if you've ever carried a fireman, you know it looks, looks nothing oh, like that. Look at it, nothing like that either. Oh, boy. I really hate that Buddy Landell got the break on that coin flip. I don't know. I don't know how in the world I can express my dissatisfaction with that. Although it was, there's just no way Buddy Landell cheated on that. He tried to. We caught him a couple of times. Or you, you all caught him in the ring in there. But uh, I don't know. There's something rotten in Denmark when Buddy Landell of the three out there to the Patriot. is just the exact opposite of all that, Buddy Landell, and he gets the break. Well, if you were Landell, who would you want to face here? It's almost an even Steven situation. Uh, probably referee Sean O'Brien, if Buddy Landell had his uh, his say-so in it, it would not be one of the two men in the ring right now. It would be O'Brien and not Walker or if, Patriot. If these two men look tired, they've had to go through, this is now match number four, in order to even win a championship, they have to go through five. Meanwhile, Landell getting the break on the outside of the ring, just getting to watch these two men go at it. And here's where Ma Landell is making a, whoa, watch it. Roll up, count of one, count of two, and Walker almost gets the chance to go for the championship. Didn't want to miss that one, but here's where Landell is making his mistake. He should be in the dressing room right now doing some final stretching, maybe laying down somewhere, getting his breath back, taking a drink of water back there, stretching himself out. Maybe just lifting a few weights to get his strength back. He just rustled the match, catching his breath. But no, he's going to stand out here, and there's a good look at the guy. Going to interject himself into the match, going to make himself known on television, and just really waste time that he could be putting to much, much better use. Well, Chris Walker now. And the Patriots sizing each other up. There's been really no advantage by either man in this match, and that's a perfectly legal forearm by the Patriot. One more forearm. Walker sent into the corner. Patriot comes in and misses with a shoulder. Goes in with that shoulder, and that's the shoulder he uses to implement the Patriot missile. And whatever happens in this match, keep in mind, fans, that the winner of the match still has to wrestle Buddy Landell. That's not like wrestling Bubba Fangman or Izzy Slapowitz or somebody like that. That's wrestling a top-notch wrestler who also has just had a uh, 7, 10, however long this match goes, has had that much of rest. So uh, you got to think that that coin flip was everything in this tournament, Craig. And now going to work on that shoulder that went awry, so to speak, is Conan Chris Walker on the Patriot. The interesting thing here uh, with two men who are just built almost exactly the same in the ring together, they know how to wrestle each other because they know their own weaknesses. Chris Walker's weaknesses, probably, arguably, the same weaknesses the Patriot has because they're basically built exactly the same. The points of balance really come into play. You work on the arms, you work on the legs, you work on the head. You soften him up with the body slams. You soften him up with that type of maneuver to get to the point of balance to take the man to the mat to put him down for that three. Well, here goes the Patriot up to the top. Could he be trying to be put on the Patriot missile? He's ready, he gets it and misses it. The trajectory was just off just by a minute bit. Walker will go to the top. The Patriot is injured. Walker is shoved up by Landau. O'Brien wasn't able to see it, and the cover by the Patriot. But the Patriot is in no Landell going after that shoulder. Buddy Landell trying to make this is not the championship match. They're my Cincinnati Reds, too, now that they won in four straight. There you go. <laughs> but I tell you, I'm looking forward to that main event. Uh, the Tennessee stud, Robert Fuller, you might not agree with his methods, but uh, he gets the job done. A former South Atlantic heavyweight champion. Holy mackerel. I thought he was over top of us. Whoa, Curtis. Get yeah. back in the ring, buddy. 
And you know, of course, if, if there's any one single member of the Joneses Rangers that would be capable of taking down the Tennessee Stud, that would be capable, of course they all are, but capable of administering punishment, it certainly is Mr. Wrestling Vince Torelli. Vince Torelli, of course, runner-up in the 1988 Olympics and the wrestling at the 220 weight class. He lost the man who won the gold medal in the 220. Of course, the Americans won it there. Speaking of winning, this match is over right here. Curtis Thompson. There it is, USA. ladies and gentlemen. The special delivery on top of the head. One, two, three. This match is over. Turn out the lights. The party's over. We're going to be back with our main event. Vince